thought I'd start a little bit this morning about sharing how I began my martial art journey. I started my martial art training back in 1973. I was a short little chubby kid. I was enamored with a TV show at the time called Kung Fu. Anyone? Can you remember that show? Yes. It is an older group. I see that. Very good. All right. So, Kwai Chain Kane, Shaolin Monk, is walking across the American desert. As a child, he was known as? Grasshopper, thank you very much. And he walks into the old western town, the bad guys try to beat him up, and he takes care of him using his kung fu. And when you're 10 years old, it's the coolest thing you've ever seen. And I literally begged my mom to let me go to my first class. And as I was watching, I saw these people, these amazingly powerful moves. And I felt like I came home. And about three years after that, I meet a man that would change my life forever. In fact, he's still my instructor to this day. His name is Grandmaster J.K. Lee. Now, Grandmaster Lee had recently moved from South Korea. He had hardly a dime in his pocket. He could hardly speak English. But he had this burning desire to transform lives through martial arts. And one of the first times I was in his class, I was actually seated on, on the, the corner of the room with my legs spread wide. I was stretching out, getting ready for the morning's training. And he walked onto the mat like he always did. This amazing power and presence. And he's surveying the room. And all of a sudden, I realize his eyes are locked directly on me. And before I could move a muscle, he had come over and he sat down in front of me. And he put his right foot on the inside of one leg, the left foot on the inside of the other. He grabbed the ends of my belt and with one push-pull, split me out to 180 degrees. That's exactly the face I made right there, Jody. That's exactly it right there. And I learned, I learned two things that morning. I learned two things. Number one is anyone, yes, anyone, can do the splits one time. <laughs> but the second thing I learned is when he looked at me deep in the eyes and he said to me in his broken English, he said, I will make you a champion. I will make you a champion. You know, we just heard Corey before. He was talking about the why and how important that was. And that morning, 42 years ago, I had someone tell me they saw a champion in me. But you know what I saw or what I heard? I heard, I believe in you. And that's my why. Because now I understand, as Devon said, and I truly know in my heart of hearts that all of us have an inner champion inside of ourselves. And all we need to do is move and re remove the, 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 the things that are in front of our, 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 the way that we're looking at things and what's inside of ourselves to really own who we are. And that's that champion.